Hello squad, today I'm gonna play the insane IQ test. Do you think I'm qualified? Do I look like a qualified person for an insane IQ test? I don't think so. Let's give it a try. <laughs> so this is the first uh, IQ test. I'm gonna do two. So the premise, I don't know if even know what's the premise of this. Uh, let's give it a try. Let's go. <laughs> pick the pick the odd one out. All right, I love this. So nail, screw, hammer or pin. The premise actually is that 10 out of 15 is the threshold for being impressive score. So there are going to be 15 questions. If I manage to do more than 10, then it's impressive. That's what the website says. It says nobody can score at least 10 out of 15 in this insane IQ test. It says it here on the top of the tab. So I'm going to prove them wrong. Pick the odd one out. All right. Nail, screw, hammer, pin. All right. Uh, I'm already feeling uh, not concentrated. So screw and hammer. Okay. These are instruments. Pin. Isn't that like something that you pin some stuff on a cardboard and nail. All right. Nail. I feel like nail is the old one now because it's, but you can nail things with an instrument. You can screw things with an instrument. You can hammer with an instrument, but pin is not an instrument. So I'm going to use that logic. Wish me luck. <laughs> I hope that this would work out. Can I select it? All right. Give me choice. Allow me to select this. It doesn't work. I'm already triggered by this. It doesn't work. What? Should I restart? Okay, I will restart the website. All right, let's see. We are having a fresh start. The interface is a little bit changed. So this makes me think that it's going to work this time. All right, what hammer? Why? Why is it going to be hammer? What's the logic? Uh, are they going to give me an explanation? They're not going to give me explanation. Basically, they can say whatever answer is correct and I have to play it cool. Ah, okay. I couldn't use any particular logic for this one because it makes sense to be a pin. You pin stuff with a hammer. It's a bit different. Hammer is an instrument. Pin is not an instrument. But let's go with the flow. Let's say that whatever they say is correct. So the next one. So they're all going to be picked the old one out. All right. A leaf, tree, branch, tweak. I don't know what tweak means. I know branch is like a tree. Tree is like a tree. Leaf is like a... All of the first three are related to a tree. The tweak, I don't know. Maybe it's also related to a tree. Okay, I will just make a Google search to see what tweak means. Let's say slender woody shoot growing from a branch. Okay. Oh, I think I know what it means. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, it's like a wooden stick. All right. Oh, they're all related to a tree then. <laughs> there is something tricky about it. From the hammer, I couldn't figure out what was the tricky part. So here, uh, maybe the logic is leaf, tree, and branch. They're all related to a live tree. And twig is not alive. It's like a wooden stick. And the wooden stick is taken out of the tree. It's like this thing here. <laughs> this is a twig, but it has greenery on it. My gut feeling tells me to say twig, but at the same time, I feel like there is something catchy, shady, leaf, tree, branch, twig. Uh, what logic should I use? The leaf is part of the branch. Everything is part of the tree. I can use this logic. The tree is different because it unites all of them. I'll use this logic. I'll be the tricky person myself and I'll go with the tree. Let's see. Oh, it worked out. All right. I feel like I'm starting to get used to the flow of this game. Let's see. I still have chances to do more than 10. So far, one wrong and one correct. Let's see the third question. Pick the odd one out. Dublin, London, Berlin, Barcelona. You're giving me cities now. Okay, so they're all in Western Europe. London, Berlin, Barcelona. But in this game, you can use numerous types of logic, which are all correct. So 
I have no idea what the creator means. They can mean any type of logic and my logic is still correct. Their logic is still correct. My point is that this is a bit of an abstract uh, question. So Barcelona, Berlin, so I feel like the Dublin is in an island. It's not in continental Europe. It's odd in that sense. London. Oh, London is also on an island. Oh, okay. So I'm not going to use the island logic. Berlin and Barcelona, they're mainland Europe. They're all in Western Europe. How should we exclude then? Okay. Barcelona, Berlin. Oh, maybe capitals, capitals. Yes, 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 yes. Dublin is a capital. London is a capital. Berlin is a capital. Barcelona is not a capital. I'm going to use that logic. It sounds valid. Let's see. Yes. Okay, so why are you saying this? Nobody can score at least 10. Look at me. I'm doing good. I'm confident. I'm progressing in this game. I feel like it's going to work out if the questions are with similar hardness. Only the first one, I cannot figure out why it says hammer, but I'm fine with 14 out of 15. Probably I'm going to make more mistakes. Let's see the next odd one out. Be weekly, be monthly, bilingual, be annual. Ooh, okay. I think that's easy. Be, be weekly, be monthly, and be annual. This is related with time. Bilingual is related with languages. So the languages are different category than time, right? Let's go. Yes. All right. I feel like I will do very good based on the questions. They're saying it's hard, but it's not that hard. Maybe somebody can do less than 10, but for me, this is easy. Pick the odd one out. Let's go fifth. I'm more than ready to do fifth. Galaxy, planet, star or universe. Okay. We're going to figure out the logic. Galaxy, planet, star, universe. Oh, okay. What's the logic? Galaxy, planet, star, universe. So the planets and the stars are part of the galaxy. The galaxies are part of the universe. Everything is part of something. I think galaxy and universe will be in the same category. They're both big places. So it's either planet or star. Maybe there is something tricky about planet or star. I need to figure it out. Planet or star. I can say that the star can be used in a different meaning, a star like a celebrity. If that's a valid logic, then star. But I feel like I need a more legit logic. This is a bit of a wordy logic. I'm not sure if that's going to save me here. Planet, star, universe, galaxy. All right. Star or planet. I mean, for me, star stands out for some reason. I want to select star, but I'm not fully confident. Universe and galaxy and planet. Mm, I feel like I'll get it wrong for some reason. Should we say star? What do you think? What are we thinking here? Okay, I'm saying star. No, universe, but why? <laughs> I need an explanation. I mean, with star, I wasn't sure at all, but uh, universe, why universe? Universe is... Uh, encompassing galaxies, you know, oh, or maybe, yes, I think the logic is, I didn't thought about it. I think the logic is the universe expands constantly, stars, planets, and galaxy, they don't expand, but I think they expand because when the universe expands, there are new galaxies that pop up and new stars and new planets. I'm not sure, but I think that's the case. So then everything expands. Then I don't know why, but two mistakes so far. We're on the good side. Maybe we'll do more than 10. Let's see. Pick the or one out. Let's go. Creep, mattress, quilt, cushion. All right. We're talking about furniture. I like furniture. I like the Scandinavian types of furniture, like very refreshed, very like Ikea style, you know, you have the furniture, you have the chairs. So I'm an expert on furniture. You cannot get me here. Let's see. We have mattress, quilt, cushion. All right. I feel like 
quilt and cushion there around there like parts that build up furniture creep and mattress okay creep i'm googling creep i'm not sure what they mean i've heard about crap which is like a cancer type okay creep all right all right i've uh, just googled it like a baby bed so baby bed mattress quilt cushion this sounds like i can get it so baby bed mattress quilt or a cushion which is the old one out okay let me connect two so at least i am seeing which are similar and they're not gonna be the old one out so the baby mattress no the baby bed okay i think i got it actually i think the, the creep because that's a baby bed from what i searched the baby bed is very complex furniture it's finished product it has everything while the quilt cushion and mattress they are part of building up the creep so i'm saying the creep let's go yes with the good research everything works out as you can see we didn't have any problems with this question next one carrot tomato ginger potato so are we talking only about vegetables i think tomato because this is debated to be a fruit and based on that logic i need to say tomato let's see yes this was very fast answer but i don't know what other logic to pick you have carrot ginger potato i don't know they're just vegetables they don't stand out in a particular way from each other next one wolf giraffe deer horse for a second i read this as a house and i was like gotcha <laughs> this is the old one out but no this will be too easy it's only giving me animals from what i can see which is the old one out so wolf giraffe deer are we talking about mammals only i think these are only mammals so this logic doesn't help me there is no fish here there are no birds neither so do they only sit on their four legs yes i think wolf giraffe deer horse only four legs what is the difference though i think uh, uh, my logic is uh, that the wolf and the deer and the horse you can find them for example only in a particular forest and i think the giraffe it's more typical to the more than like the africa and this type of region while the wolf deer horse you see them in europe and you don't see giraffe in europe unless it's a zoo i've seen a giraffe in zoo but that doesn't count so i think the giraffe stands out due to the fact that i think the other three you can find them in the same region like a european forest let's say while the giraffe he belongs to another place let's go no why the wolf what's the logic with the wolf <laughs> it's like a deer you find it uh, there or maybe the logic i think the logic is that the wolf is more aggressive animal and it's capable of attacking the other three if it finds them i think the other uh, i think that's the logic yeah i should have thought about that the logic is that the other eat grass and the wolf it's meat i think that's the logic uh, okay let's say that i approve this but with the universe and with the hammer i have no idea why this was the answer pick the odd one out we have sphere cube cone rectangle all right hmm what's the logic here what's the logic here sphere cube cone rectangle okay sphere it's like a bow cube it's like the rubik's cube <laughs> <laughs> uh, cone is like the thing that you put ice cream on rectangle i think it's rectangle because rectangle is not a 3d shape i think they're asking me is it 3d or 2d shape so based on this logic it should be the rectangle the rectangle doesn't even exist in real life and i'll tell you why because nothing is 2d in real life for example this thing is 2d right even though it's flat it has a 2d shape but it's not 2d because it exists in the real life so it's 3d everything in real life has three dimensions 
unless you write a rectangle on a piece of paper. So the rectangle will be 3D, but still maybe it's not 3D because you know the pencil with which you write, it still has some depth to it, which means even a rectangle written on a paper, it's 3D because the depth of the ink makes the 3D if I need to need pick a lot about this topic. So yes, it cannot physically be only 2D because that means it doesn't exist if it doesn't have depth to it at any shape or form. But this is too philosophical. I am saying rectangle. Okay, good. <laughs> Correct. All right. I think I have only three mistakes. So I'm on the safer side, but it's better to keep up with the right answers. I'm not going to feel loose and underestimate the rest of the game. So pick the odd one out. Rooftop house, whole basement. Okay. We have the rooftop. The house here. Okay. I think it's a house. This is like the creep. You're giving me one thing that consists of the other thing. And the thing that consists the other thing is the odd one out. So rooftop is part of a house. Hole is part of a house. Basement is part of the house. So the house is the old one out. Let's go. We have the 11 question now. So all the questions are picked out one out from what I can see. It's not gonna change this consistency. And I'm fine with that because I got used to it. And I wanna see expected things. If you give me some very hard question, which is not picked out one out, like some mathematical whatever, I'll be lost. Keep the odd one out questions and we're gonna get a good score. We get oats, barley, cereal, and rye. Ooh, I think it's cereal because it includes the other ones. A rye, I need to Google it. After this game, you are figuring out that my English skills are not 100% because it's giving me some words that I've never seen. I use English every day, but right, I've never seen it. I saw it. It's made out of a wheat, which is the thing that makes the bread. So there is that ingredient in the cereal, in the barley is part of the cereal, oats is part of the cereal. I'm saying cereal, all right. We're keeping up with the next one. Treat, hackneed, banal, telling, all right. I don't know what these words are, <laughs> kinda, I know telling. All right, hey. okay, I'm gonna try not to look up word meanings for this one. I will go with the flow. I don't know what they mean though. Okay, telling. What? This was a total guess. <laughs> I know the word telling is the ING version of tell, but I think here it's in another meaning. I don't know, banal and hackneyed. I think banal means like, saying annoying things over and over and over and telling doesn't mean that it's just the broad word for talking so maybe that's why i got it but i use other logic that this is the only word that i know what it means but see i got it <laughs> moving on to the next one all right we have flounder dolphin tuna shark flounder i'm not sure about it i know dolphin tuna and shark i think like these are Creatures that live in the sea, ocean, slash ocean, the water parts of the world. So, dolphin, tuna, and shark. I think the answer is maybe dolphin. I think dolphins are mammals. If that's the logic you're going to. Flounder, I have no idea, but I'll say dolphin. Yes, I got it. All right. I think the mammal logic was the winning logic in this case. So, pencil, pen, roller bow, bow point. All right, hmm, this is a tricky one. I think it's not that tricky. I think it's bow point. I think pencil, pen, and roller bow, that's instruments for writing, and bow point is the component of the pencil. So it's a smaller component. Or the logic is that the Pencil, I mean of the pen, but the logic may be that the pencil is not having any bow points because it's a different way. Yes, yes, because it's different than 
It doesn't use ink, right? That the pen uses. All right, last question. All right, let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready to finish this with a very good score. The insane IQ test will be finished with potentially very high score. So I'm insanely good at IQ tests. So pick the old one out. Uh, pie, cake, dough, cookie. All right. I think here it's going to be about ingredients and one thing that consists all of them. Or the opposite. I think here is the dough. Pie, cake and cookie, they're already finished products and the dough is ingredient to make other products. So I'm going to say dough and I'm very confident. If this is not a dough, I'm going to make a backflip right now. <laughs> All right. Thank God that this was the case because I don't think I'm capable of doing that. But I was about to attempt it, which means not good idea. <laughs> All right. We're going to do another one because this was too easy for me. I think this is not even close to insane IQ test. They said you have to score one out of 15 and I did way better. I scored 12 out of 15, which is good. And I'm hungry for something harder. Let's go. It's Cognifit, the website. And I don't know what I'm going to do now. I hope from too easy not to be too hard. Light the cube, select the color. Everything here is yellow, so this should be yellow, right? Let's click on yellow. Let's go. This is correct, I guess, because the game is not objecting anything that they do. But it says tutorial. Can I skip the tutorial? This is too easy. All right, swipe. Okay, this is the thing that is there. Select that quantity that matches. What? Quantity? There is only one missing, right? Select the color. Okay, red. Okay, confirm. Correct, right? I right to start it. Yes, yes, yes. I don't want any practice. Uh, this looks already easy. Start the test. Let's go. I'm going to use 100% of my brain right now. All right, so what are we doing? Swipe. Oh, first I need to find the part of the cube that's missing. All right, here are the other parts that are missing. I have time. Uh, what? I need to use some tough logic. Uh, I think it's the stars because they're missing. I think we need two of them and red. All right, confirm. This was under a lot of pressure. All right, I think I got it correct. Next one, uh, I need to find it. My biggest issue is finding the missing piece. All right, uh, it's missing yellow. It's missing to be two of them and it's missing. Oh, it's already selected this. So I don't even have to choose the shape. All right. All right. Oh, this is easy. <laughs> I thought it's going to be harder for some reason. All right. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is the missing part? All right. The missing part. Uh, what's missing? Uh, the star, the circle, no, the, the, this, the cube. So color is red for sure. How many pieces from the cube? We have three not available. I see two and one, so three. Confirm. I got it, right? All right. Let's see the next one. Okay, this is here. So what? Uh, the yellows are here. The, then the, the red is missing. Then what shape uh, you have? Yeah, there are different shapes. I think, wow. I think two of these. Let's go. But it's not giving me feedback if it's wrong or correct. Or maybe if it's wrong, it's going to stop the game. The fact that it's giving me more means that I'm doing good. It's getting very tricky. I think, yeah, blue is less obvious. Then you have, do we have? Yes. Okay, I think this shape and we need two of these, the star, right? All right. Confirm. My confidence is getting lowered with the time goes on. Focus only on the face with the missing piece. What face? Okay, by face you mean this. I thought a human face is going to pop up and I'm like, what? I'm not ready for this. All right. We are having this. The red is missing. What else? Uh, what the red. Uh, this shape. No, this shape. The circle needs one and you need three circles. I think that's the logic. All right. All right. I think I'm going to end this game here. 
it's repeating the same tasks all over and over again, which is cool. I'm fine with it, but I think I already didn't make any mistake. I would like to save this milestone and achievement and I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Basically, to make everything into a summary, I would say that I did pretty decent, don't you think? I think my score is pretty decent because I got, I think, 12 out of 15 on the first one and on the second one, no mistake. So the conclusion is the insane IQ test is successfully passed. But I think the questions weren't that hard, but don't tell to anyone, let's say that I passed the insane IQ test. This is what the internet gave me. I searched for insanely hard IQ test. This is what showed up and I passed. I did way above average. The second one, no mistakes. And this only three mistakes. And if I have to analyze the mistakes, I don't even know. This is thing that I'm going to think about tonight. Probably I'm not going to sleep. I'll be thinking why the hammer is different than the pin. Or maybe, oh, I think they're using the logic that with nail, screw and pin, you can unplug stuff, right? The pin is a unplug itself. The screw and the nail, they unplug. But the hammer, doesn't the hammer have a back part with which you unplug nails, right? So this is not the logic, but I don't know what's the logic. Tell me in the comments, why do you think hammer is different than pin, screw and nail? I want to speculate on this topic and thank you for watching the video and I'm going to see you in the next one.